So today, we're going to be turning a solid soap into a gel slash mousse. Okay, so this is everything you need. I'm just going to go through it for you. The first thing you need is a small cup, uh, just big enough to put your cube of soap in and some hot water in. The next thing you need, obviously, is your soap. Today, I'm using Rockstar. Just a little chunk. Um, remember, don't use too much because this doesn't last forever, this product. Just a little chunk of soap. Any kind of nail washer file, anything with a slightly coarse edge, just so we can rub the soap to get it really, really fresh. Um, then in the back, a spoon. We're just going to be using the end of the spoon to mix with. And a knife just to cut up your soap a little bit. So now I'm just going to take you through this. Okay, so the first step is, once this is slightly damp, which it is, to give your soap a little rub. Now this is going to get off the sort of skin on the top, any bit where it might be a bit dry, anything that's basically not making it as fresh as it was. Taking off the outside layer to get to the fresher soap underneath. This is especially important if your soap has been sitting around for a while. So you're just going to get that off a little bit. And once you feel like your soap is fresh enough, put that out the way, you can get your knife and cut it probably just into two pieces. Be really, really careful with the knife. And I would recommend using a not too sharp a knife, one like this, not too sharp, um, just serrated and then taking the soap and just cutting through it. Um, if you are under 18, do ask your parents because this is quite dangerous and maybe get them to help you. And also just be careful you don't cut the surface. A chopping board would prob probably be more ideal than this, but I know what I'm doing. I've done this a lot before. So just keep cutting through. OK, so here we go. That is our soap, beautifully cut into two pieces. This will just increase the surface area. So when the soap is um, kind of melting almost, there's more surface area for it to melt to. So now that's complete, I will just go on with the next step. The next step is to boil your kettle. So I've already got some water in my kettle. I'm just going to press this little button and boil some water. Water has finished boiling and I'm going to go on with the next step. So back to your cup here, you're just going to get your two pieces, give them a little brush so you don't get too many bits because uh, then your gel mousse will become a little bit bitty. Rub off the bit, pop them in the glass and then take your kettle and be extremely, extremely careful. Pour a little bit over just so it's either just covering or covering. I'm just going to do that. That is pretty much covering both the pieces. And now onto the final step of this bit. I'm just going to take this with the hot water. Be very careful. It's boiling and give it a mix and really get kind of soap sap off the soap and into the water because that's really what makes this. Give it a really, really good mix. You want that water to, so let's say you're using porridge to be as brown as possible, or if you're using Rockstar to be as pink and white as possible. So just gonna give you some tips here. Keep mixing it for as long as you can. Um, you try, to try and use a creamier soap. That will really, really help. The water needs to be as hot as possible. And finally, you get these little bubbles just try and pop them a little bit otherwise they tend to be a bit weird on the top of the um, mousse gel so you can just kind of squash them with this or just take them out so once you think you've really mixed it in super super well and this is entirely mixed in and this is really really like soapy the water you can just set that aside and leave it for around two to three hours. Keep going back to check on it and I'll come back um, in that time and show you what it should look like. Okay, so that has been setting for around three hours. Actually, I looked at it at about one and a half to two hours and it was perfectly set. But I thought 
I wanted to go the full way just so I could um, properly show you and so it wouldn't go wrong. Um, so this is it and this is what it should look like. It's obviously extremely solid now and jellified and I'm not even sure if you can see the slight bubbles on it but that is what happens if you don't properly properly um, get out all the bubbles. So now we're going to finish this off. So what you're going to do is take your spoon again and basically mash it up. I'm just going to take it and give it a swirl, give it a mash, get all the glue out. And what you'll find is you'll get lumps and you'll be like, what are these lumps? Well, those are the solid bits that you put in, those big bits of rock star. And I'm just going to get them out because that's what we need to do. And you just need to get these out, these big bits. So you can see it's going to break all this bit away. Break it away. This is lovely and jelly-like, obviously, because uh, lush soaps have seaweed in them. And that's how they get their jellies, so jelly-like. It's just reaching, as gross as this is. You can even put it through a mini like tea strainer or sieve if you really want. It might take a while, though. And there we go. And got get the lumps out. And they're just, they're the solid lumps on the side. And here is the gorgeous goo. So I'm just going to rinse my hands off. So I've rinsed my hands and now we're ready with, oh, sorry, with this lovely goo here. And what we're going to do just to finish this off is I've boiled the kettle one more time till boi so it's boiling hot. And I'm just going to add in the tiniest amount just to take off the edge of that jelly because it can be a little bit icky. So the tiniest, tiniest drop. There we go. It was really, it was really tiny amount. And I'm just going to give it a mix just to really incorporate it all, get out any bits, keep mixing, keep mixing. And there you go, as weird as it is, that is your liquefied Rockstar soap. Now, obviously, I they say hand and body soap at last. I never really use the solid soaps on my body, um, the lumps like this. I, I never use them on my body. But this is the perfect hand soap. Um, if you want, you can put it in a little jar. You can put it in a bottle, whatever you want. And this is liquid version of your soap. Um, as I said before, works better with creamier soaps. But here it is. That's it. I think it's a really, really just clever clever little thing to be able to do to turn your solid soaps into a liquid perfect for by the sink so here it is liquid rockstar and i hope you guys get to try this with some of your soaps bye